Hi everyone, welcome back to my lab and today's video, which is going to be a little chatty get ready with me catch up session since it's been some time since I've seen you. I will definitely get into all the reasons why I've been away for a little bit, catch up, do a little self care in honor of this upcoming Mother's Day as well as Mental Health Awareness Month, which is May. We're going to be creating the look that I'm wearing with some of my shop, my stash products along with some other items and a very special gift I received from one of you as well. Usually I'll do a little shout out for my first five commenters on my previous video, but today I just want to give you a big thank you for still being here with me and joining me for today's video. So thank you so much for joining me once again, for sticking with me through the good times and bad. I really, really appreciate it. I also want to give a big thank you to Ana Luisa Jewelry, who's working with me on this video. I have had the pleasure of working with them once before in the past. It was for a holiday promotion that they were having at the end of last year. I first learned about them from other influencers, some of my favorite YouTube channels present their jewelry very very frequently as a matter of fact the jewelry that I'm wearing right now I chose specifically because I saw it on my friend Alice from Alice's Beauty Madness I am super excited to be working with Ana Luisa again right now they're having a promotion for Mother's Day and they gifted my subscribers a 15% off discount on all of their items throughout the entire website I have a special link which will give you that discount in the description box so be sure to check it out if you like any of the pieces that I'm featuring today. A little bit about Ana Luisa jewelry. I really enjoy their style in general in terms of the jewelry that they design. But aside from that, I really, really appreciate and believe in their sustainability mission. This is a company that is 100% carbon neutral. So they offset 100% of their carbon emission in the manufacture and shipping of their products. The jewelry is really fairly priced. It starts as low as $39 and then you can go up from there. They definitely stand behind their quality so you have a full one year guarantee on all of their pieces I have now had my very first pieces for about half a year and they are absolutely as beautiful as they were the day that I got them these are pieces that do not tarnish or spoil or scratch in any way I do take care of my jewelry I keep them in the pouches that they ship them to me in which they look like this they're really nice velvet pouches I like to store them in there to protect them but they do stand behind their products one 100%. As part of their effort to promote their sustainability mission, they also produce their jewelry in limited batches. So if you log on to the website, you know, a few times a month, perhaps you might see new designs. You may see some sell out, but then come back into stock later on. So that's a little bit of information about the company, but I want to show you the pieces. So the first piece that I have is the Michelle earring. These are the ones that I'm wearing and the regular price for the earrings is $75, but with the 15% off, it would be $63.75. Now these are in collaboration with someone. Unfortunately, I don't know who they collaborated with because the pouch that these came in is a little bit different. It's an olive green color and it has the Michelle by Ana Luisa on the pouch. Now the earrings were on this little card with the Ana Luisa logo and on the back it said hope, love, and create. So the earrings were there and they were protected in bubble wrap as well. These are the ones that I selected this time and I'm so excited. Specifically because I'm going to be wearing my hair up a lot and I feel that these really add a touch of femininity and it brings light to the face so I really really love those in addition to these they gifted me a couple of other sets of earrings which I want to show you now these are the cruise style and they are so cute they're like a little huggy hoop earring with a dangle which I feel again just adds a little bit more of visual interest they are so cute these are going to be great for work I love them they're super comfortable if you're talking on the phone a lot it's not going to be something that's going to be hurting while you're wearing them or make a lot of noise if you're going to be on the phone quite a bit but these are so so cute so these earrings they retail for $85 with the discount they would be $72.25 and then last but not least I also have this set of earrings which has been super popular so this style is called Celeste and it has that similar huggy style like Cruz had but they have a star and then a moon on the other side these are ones that I've frequently seen on YouTube they're very popular also priced at 75 and with the discount it would be 63.75. I've seen a lot of people
people wear them both on like the second and third holes or just on one side of their ear and it's really cute. I like the style and I wanted to try those as well. This necklace is one of the pieces that I had from before. It's actually part of one of their layered sets which is called Ivy but I own it and I wanted to show it to you because what I like about their layered sets is that it's really two in one. So it comes with this necklace that I'm wearing right now which is a very beautiful chain style necklace and it came with this one which is a pendant necklace and they're two separate pieces so that's what I mean like you buy one piece and then you're really receiving two that you can stack or wear separately like I'm wearing today this one is super super cute this one is sold out right now but like I said you can keep your eye on their website and they frequently restock popular items like that the very last style that I have are the Sia earrings and these are shaped like tiny little safety pins and they look very cute they're also really comfortable to wear they're smaller so if you're wearing masks around your ears or anything like that they're not going to get in the way so you can definitely enjoy a smaller piece like this I wanted to go ahead and share the Mother's Day promotion with you again that link will be in the description box down below if you're interested in saving 15% off their entire website and this is a great gift for Mother's Day or really any day today's video is going to be a little bit about self-care and how we need to kind of look out for ourselves and having a little jewelry treat is definitely one way to do that. Thank you so much to Calvin at Ana Luisa Jewelry for inviting me to work with you again. I sincerely appreciate your support of my tiny channel. I know that you work with a lot greater channels with a lot higher reach and so it means a lot to me that I would be included in such a group. So thank you so much for the jewelry. I absolutely love it. Now without any further delay, let's go ahead and get into this video. Well, let's go ahead and see if I remember how to do this. I already did my eyebrows uh, the first time in a while actually so I don't know how they're looking but I've been plugging them at home a little bit and keeping them as neat as possible but I think they're looking okay I'm gonna prime with something that's a little bit more hydrating not only did I let my makeup routine kind of go by the wayside after a little while I also let my skincare routine go by the wayside my skin isn't too problematic and I do a little bit here and there so hopefully this will be enough hydration I'm using a lot of the items from like the Shop My Stash that I did, which I actually got through using almost everything in the Shop My Stash. So I need to swap it out. I mean, this year. Oh, goodness. I'm going to go ahead and get my foundation concoction together. So this is by Shiseido. It's called the Synchro Skin Glow Luminizing Fluid Foundation. I bought this a very long time ago. And so I'm sure it's not anything that's new. I'm not sure if it's something that's been reformulated because they have since kind of released maybe two or three foundations that have been really popular. So that's why I wanted to read out the exact name. And of course, anything that I can find, I will link in the description box down below in case you're interested in checking it out. I'm gonna mix that with, I can already tell I put too much in my dish here, but I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Auric Glow Lust. I ended up choosing the shade Selenite and it works pretty well for me. I also think I want to pick up the shade Pyrite, which is a little bit more for olive skin tones, but in the meantime, this one is doing just fine for me. Ordinarily, I do my eyes first, as you know, if I'm doing anything, you know, elaborate with eyeshadow or if I happen to be working with top coats or glitter or anything that's likely to give me fallout. I don't think that's going to be the case today and I just want to do a simple look since I want to use a lipstick I haven't gotten a chance to wear yet by Pat McGrath. It's a very bright colored lipstick so I kind of want to keep everything else neutral. So as you can see I painted the foundation on and now I'm just going to blend it in with this brush. I think my skin is a little bit more dry than normal because I can already feel the foundation starting to dry. I'm going to have to use slightly buffing motions to get it to sink in. This is already a glowy foundation even without adding the luminizer, but you know, summer is coming and in my opinion, you can never have too much glow. And I wanted to try that luminizer in different ways. It feels really lightweight and nice. So as you can see, I didn't apply very much at all. Most of it is sitting still here in my dish, but it's blending in nicely and it's not pilling, which is one of the things I was worrying about. I'm not sure why, but my battery is saying that it is already low, which I can not even believe it because it's been sitting on the charger 
Hopefully I didn't burn through it since I've just kind of left it there all this time. I may have to buy a new camera battery or something. I have a backup which is charging right now, um, so I'll be able to switch back and forth. Continuing on, I'm going to use the LC Cosmetics Complete Remedy Silk Concealer. I have mine in the shade Medium, which is... Um, I probably could have gone a little bit... Let's see. No, I think this is fine. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit. This concealer kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. hydrating concealer. It's a little bit emollient, a little bit thicker. I think that every concealer I picked for the shop my stash was virtually identical. Like it reminds me a lot of that e.l.f. hydrating concealer. It reminds me a lot of the Dose of Colors concealer, the Flower Beauty concealer. I feel like they're all pretty much the same thing. So in general, I've kind of been away from YouTube because I've just been feeling so bad. I've had, I don't know, it's just, I've had this horrible, horrible depression. I've been feeling so bad about many things. Some of the things are actual physical things that are happening and other things are just the way I'm feeling and I'm feeling really down. And when you're feeling down, you don't want to spread that around for sure. I kind of have a tendency to be more of an introvert and so when I'm feeling bad, I just kind of withdraw into myself and avoid everything <laughs> and then having to work you know with a lot of students in my regular job it's very tiring and so once I'm done with work I'm I don't have a lot of energy to do other things when I'm already feeling so down and then part of it I know a lot of you know that I was on a fitness journey and I was working so, so hard because due to the pandemic and being so much more stationary than I was used to, you know, I wasn't dancing or doing any of the activities I normally did. I put on quite a bit of weight. Also with my moving experience, when I was moving in, I was focusing 100% on getting the house in order because the, the chaos of all the boxes was completely overwhelming. And of course, I told you about all that last year, last summer. So it was, I think, around what, like July or something. But in any case, I literally lost my train of thought right now. I was just going to say the concealer is looking quite nice, but I feel like I used a lot less this time. And it's kind of settled in quite a bit. I'm not used to seeing myself with makeup, so I think honestly any tiny little bit is going to be an improvement anyway. So like I said, I put on a bit of weight and I wanted to... I was working out and I was working out really intensely. Probably you guys were seeing my workout posts on Instagram. I was sharing them. I went through the whole issue with my uh, heart rate monitor and my, my new Fitbit, which I'm still wearing. I was working so hard. I was exercising all the time, which is really, really difficult for me because I have super challenging hair. And whenever I work out, my hair just gets wrecked and then I have to fix it again. Like right now, don't let this fool you. This is like hours of after washing my hair, blow drying it and flat ironing it. So it's just really tedious. And I was having to go through all that trouble after every single workout, which was every single day. And it was just really exhausting. And then every time I weighed myself, my weight wasn't going anywhere. Like it just kept going up and I just couldn't understand it. I was feeling really bad about myself and about the way I look and everything. And when you feel bad about yourself, you feel bad about the way you look sitting down to do something that requires you to stare in the mirror for a long period of time as well as then look at yourself on the computer for a long period of time while you're editing is just not something you really want to be doing at least not me and so that kind of pushed me away from youtube a little bit as well i'm gonna set the concealer with this little sample i got of the patrick star one size powder this one is in the shade 01 i think there's two shades of this I'm not exactly sure, but it's 01 translucent. I didn't put any concealer up on my eyes. I'm just kind of blending a little bit from where I cleaned up my eyebrows. I've noticed that with new releases with Sephora, like if you wait just a little bit, like just a tiny little bit after something has been released, usually they will put a sample, you know, as one of those code gift with purchases that you can do. And then you can try it out. Like I think I saw, I don't know if it was the Tatcha powder or something something like that, which is something they newly released. I think I saw that on there. I missed it. I hadn't made a purchase like 
just right now but I did notice that and that's how I got this so I'm, I'm glad I'm getting to try it out especially because I don't use a lot of powder I really don't have any business buying a lot of powders I use just the tiniest tiniest amount as you can see this little sample will probably last me ages because I don't usually set my face I just set underneath my eyes to avoid any creasing and sometimes between my eyebrows a little bit and that's really about it um so far it's looking okay it's looking a little dry underneath my eyes but like i said i neglected my skincare and so i really shouldn't be surprised my face is super expressive anyway and my eyes crinkle a lot and just it is what it is and that's fine here's something that i'm so excited to use this is the wayne goss the radiance boosting face palette this is the bronze and sculpt and i have mine in the shade satin bronze i think that's the medium shade and i already love it but i'm letting you know i'm being completely biased because this was a gift from one of you and i'll be sure and thank you personally of course but i've never received a present from a subscriber ever and it's absolutely unexpected unnecessary um, but it's so so nice and it's something that uh, it's something that I wanted unfortunately along with my weight loss journey my treadmill <laughs> kind of went kaput and maybe I just ran through it I had it for a lot a lot of years I had it oh my goodness for like maybe 12 years so I think I definitely got my money's worth off the treadmill and especially the way I was using it but I it was during the time that this was launching and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to buy it right then and she offered to send it to me and it it was just so so sweet and so I'm gonna treasure it and love it no matter what I did not know that the shade range it ran a little bit on the light side if you ask me I know a lot of times people with light skin tones struggle finding bronzer and contour products that are light enough and with the right undertones for their skin and I think that in this line he does have it with the lighter one but for deeper skin tones not as much there's only three shades and from what I've seen on other YouTube channels even the deeper shade is not that deep which is a shame coming from a makeup artist you know a makeup artist that's used to working on all different skin tones and skin types you would think that they would know better when designing a shade range I haven't seen the others in person but from what I'm seeing and the feedback that I'm seeing it just just seems that way to me but just the same I I already love it I'm gonna treasure it forever thank you so 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 much so let's see so it looks like we have bronze glow on the left and medium taupe on the right so this one has a little bit of glow and this one is more mattified so that's gonna be the contour and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that it's the first time I use it not a lot of kick up in the pan a little bit not too much I'm not doing any heavy contour and we'll see if it'll show up on me I think it is I'm, I'm not doing anything too intense but I definitely see it so yeah I just haven't been feeling well and so I don't want to sit staring at myself when I'm I'm not happy with the way I'm looking right now I'm even struggling with my clothes fitting like right now this is a dress I bought from Amazon it's just a stretchy dress and I've pretty much been living in things like this because my regular clothes and jeans and stuff it's just it's not fitting and I guess I got too comfortable with the fact that we've been staying home all the time I haven't really had much need to wear anything too dressy or fancy or anything like that I just haven't had to and so I live in my stretchy pants and sweaters or things like that and my students only see my top half over zoom anyway it's just been it's been tough another thing you know that almost sounds shallow but the way you feel about yourself really impacts the way you approach everything else and so having a little bit of a self-care moment whether that be exercise diet cooking a bath or putting on makeup I think it's really important to take that time and that's what I wanted to do today to just enjoy the makeup that I have I have such lovely lovely products and I haven't really been enjoying them too much I haven't been wearing makeup as I said and that's not what I wanted to be doing you know I wanted to be enjoying my makeup I wanted to be curating my makeup collection I was able to keep track of my purchases in terms of what I bought I haven't been wearing stuff but I certainly have been buying which is ridiculous but collecting makeup has always brought me a lot of joy and that along with treating myself to some of my favorite foods have really 
been my kind of treat yourself moments lately, which of course kind of exacerbates the problems that I'm having, but what can you do? But I have been keeping track of my purchases. I don't know if you noticed, I have behind me, I have that shelf right there. It's a little bit blurry, but when I zoom out, you'll probably be able to see it better. It's an origami cart, and it's something that I saw a long time ago on Instagram. It was one of those ads that come up while you're looking at your feed, and I definitely knew I wanted to pick it up. So you can see it's got drawers, and then it's got two shelves, and I thought that it would be great right there in front of my closet door because I don't open that closet too much. There's mostly coats and then like unopened skincare and things in there. I don't really have to get in there too much and so blocking it with the cart isn't really hurting anything plus it's on wheels so I can actually move it. So I saw it there and I saw it was something that they carried on HSN which is one of those home shopping networks here in the US and I had looked at it and looked at it looked at it but it was pretty expensive and I wasn't sure I wanted to make that investment but as I was buying more stuff, I didn't want to put it in my drawers because, or in my IKEA drawers or anywhere because of my project, right? I wanted to keep track of everything I bought every single month and I kind of went in, in detail about this in my project video. So I've kind of left everything sitting out and it was start, starting to pile up in my living room, on my dining room table and just everywhere it's not supposed to be. So for the contour, it seemed to work out just fine. It's definitely subtle, but I also didn't go in with a super heavy hand. I'm not doing that kind of makeup today. And now I'm going in with a bronzer and a fluffier brush. Let's see what kind of finish this gives. I'm looking at it, it's definitely subtle. It's definitely subtle. And I consider myself like a light medium skin tone maybe. And if this is the medium shade, I can kind of see where people are coming from with regard to the shade range of these. If you've had them, I know a lot of you are fans of Wayne Goss and his products just like I've been. So let me know what's your experience been and how you feel about them. It's definitely bronzing me up, but it's it's very subtle. The shimmery side, the bronzer side seems to be pressed more firmly as well. So aside from my weight and that, there's also my issues with my dog. So you've seen him in the background of some of my videos. He's an older dog. He is now uh, about 14 years old. I've had him since he was a puppy. He's a Shih Tzu and he has a really bad back and his doctor has told me basically that he would need surgery but he doesn't recommend the surgery because not only is it over several thousand dollars in cost my dog being so old there's no guarantee he would survive the surgery it's just really really invasive for him and so he doesn't really recommend the surgery and he gave him like a couple of like steroid shots. He tried stem cell shots and all kinds of things. And long story short, my dog has not been doing well. He doesn't walk very well. He's older. He's kind of shaky. And he ended up having the talk, you know, with me. And it's just not something I want to think about. My dog has been with me for so long and he's the sweetest little buddy that you can possibly imagine. But then it's also getting to the point where you're seeing that their quality of life is just not that good. And you don't want to make them suffer because you selfishly don't want to hurt, it, you know, when something happens to them. So that's something me and my daughter have been talking about and it's going to be really hard. He's the baby of the family. I have two cats as well. They're older, but cats generally live a little bit longer for my phone actually cut me off and it's probably good timing since I was telling you about my dog and kind of the situation we're having with him but yeah so it stopped me from starting to cry right in the middle of the video but you know for the time being he's doing okay and you're gonna see him in some of my videos in the background as usual because he loves to keep me company but yeah it's, it's just sad all of my pets I have two cats as well like I said they're all older and it's hard. It's all fun and games when they're babies, but then when they're really old, it's it's really sad. I was also telling you about that shelf. Um, I'm gonna use one of these M Cosmetics Dew Drops, and it's so funny because the, the packaging is so cute, but people complain about it all the time because the dropper doesn't work like you would expect it to work, like you would expect to close it, um, press it and then drop the product but what they actually say there's actually like instructions on how to use the packaging on their website what they actually say is that you have to draw out the stopper and then completely depress it and then put it in there and then release and that should be enough product for a single drop of blush so we'll see 
see, I kind of mastered it. It's not ideal. Like if I think they should have just made the dropper work as you would expect. And then the packaging would have been super cute. This one is in the shade Pink Nectar. And I know I'm kind of going ahead with my makeup without doing my eyes. But like I said, I'm just doing something super neutral on my eyes. So I'm not really worried about matching blush colors or anything like that. My highlight of my look is definitely going to be the lip color for today. So I'm just kind of applying a few drops where I would normally apply blush. And I'll blend it out with a brush. I actually found that these apply nicely with a sponge. Like if I put it on the back of my hand and then use a sponge to blend it out, they apply a lot better. But I didn't dampen my beauty blender. Like I said, I'm so out of practice. But using a brush like this also allows it to blend out. And it's actually looking really intense on camera. It's not that bright in person. Uh, but you can see it definitely has kind of that luminous finish to it. It's really pretty. It's just, you know, with the packaging. I don't mind it since I kind of took the time to read the instructions on how to properly use the dropper but I can see why people would get frustrated you don't really think you have to read specific instructions on how to use a dropper but it's a really pretty color I think I was seeing Tina the fancy face she did a review on these and she was saying that they are not good for deeper skin tones I think they were like kind of completely blending away um, I have a light medium skin tone I don't remember exactly where this lies on the color spectrum I have another shade which is much darker but as you can see this one is okay at least for my skin tone and I like how that's looking I think it's looking good so back to that shelf that you're seeing there basically all the makeup that I've been buying I have kind of just put in the drawers there so I can later put it into the regular storage spaces when I haul it for you and I do the budgeting and all that and eventually what I want to keep there are more like face palettes maybe my lip glosses and things that are kind of starting to overflow within my own makeup collection for highlight I'm gonna use this Dior one I've never used it before for. This one is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer and it's in shade 003. This is one of their permanent ones so you can definitely still get your hands on, a, on this one. This is what it looks like. It's just your typical champagne shade. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout for those catch-up videos. I did keep track of everything I bought in December and that was going to be my practice run for my budget. So I have those things and then I have also kept track of everything that I bought every other month besides that. And so so for you, it's just going to look like a whole bunch of hauls while I catch up with my project because I don't want to lose that time. You know, I really wanted to do that this year. And so I'm just going to be playing catch up and that's fine. It is what it is, right? You just do the best you can. And that's also self-care. Like it's not going to be perfect all the time. I definitely have all my receipts. I have all my records of what I bought. So I'll still be able to tell you. And if you're not interested in the project, a lot of people love my channel for makeup hauls because I buy a lot of makeup. Up. and so you can just watch it for the haul and so hopefully you'll still enjoy it and I will throw the budgeting aspect in because that's something I wanted to do to keep myself accountable even though I'm pretty sure I haven't stayed within budget any month maybe February since it was short. I know I'm buying a lot less makeup in general. I definitely am. I'm finding more of an interest in indie makeup, but I do not have the patience for these launches and these long wait times. And I understand it's a small company. Oftentimes it's one or two people running the business, but I, I bought something at the end of February. I just got it. Um, and I'll definitely be showing you in the haul. So if you enjoy makeup hauls, definitely stay tuned and you'll be seeing a lot of hauls coming up of things that I buy. And I always try to swatch it for you so that it's not just I bought this, I bought this, I bought this. And then I also do makeup haul follow-ups. So I definitely want to get back in the habit of wearing more makeup. I'm already feeling better. Like just, I'm already feeling better. One thing I notice about the setting spray, everybody loves it. I love it too. It's great. But when I finish spraying, I want to put it down and it's not going to stand up because of the curvature. Like you actually have to put the lid back on and then set it down. And it's petty, but it bothers me that I have to do that craziness. So my eyes are already creasing and this is only the result of kind of the concealer I had above my eyebrow to kind of carve out my brow and just from blending because I didn't actually directly place anything there. What I would like to use is this Gerard Cosmetics. It's called the Clean Canvas Eye Base. I have mine in the shade Fair. This is a brand that does um, make their eye bases in different shades as well, which is something that's really good. I'm just going to apply a tiny bit. Oops. 
super tiny even that's too much for what i wanted but i will blend it out so back to the cart i really like it i went on to hsn which is where they had it in stock i think i mentioned that to you and then they had it out of stock they didn't have it and i went online looking for it everywhere and i actually found it from the manufacturer they when they had it on hsn it was actually available in a variety of colors like i think they came in red in like a purple a black it was really nice really nice variety of colors they even had a taller one so this one has two shelves they even had a taller one that had three shelves but i didn't want to go into that one and i found this one there were no discounts but i really liked it so much i wanted to get it i think it's ideal for makeup storage for what i needed and so it's working out really well i'm really happy with it i still have to do my beauty room tour but you know Again, forgive yourself and move on. It's such an important thing for self-care. Let's go ahead and work on the eyes. For the eyes, I want to keep it really simple. So I'm going to use some of these Marc Jacobs single eyeshadows. I have no idea what's going on with Marc Jacobs as a brand. It seems like everything is on sale. And I don't know, like even on their own website, everything is on sale. And I wonder if it's going to be a brand that's going to go the way of Becca. I know people, I'm really late. And people have already kind of given their opinions on what's going on with Becca and I think it's really sad I had actually just picked up one of their new powders that they released because I thought that it would work well as a buffing powder I wanted to use it today but I, aside from that shelf I also have a couple of boxes for makeup that I bought in other times and I couldn't find it right away it's in a box somewhere and I wanted to go ahead and film and not give myself any reason to you know get sidetracked with other things so I just figured I'll show it to you in another video lots of people have made their videos on those already now anyway i'll just try it another time because i have plenty of stuff to try here so i'm gonna use um three shades i have 500 perfecto 520 the big o and 530 daddy so it's just gonna be this one is perfecto so it's like a bone color shade the big o is more of a kind of soft brown and daddy o is a little bit deeper so i'm just gonna do a very very super for simple eye. Before I discovered Charlotte Tilbury, Marc Jacobs was actually one of my favorite luxury brands. I still feel that they make beautiful lip products and beautiful highlighters and the bronzers. I just thought it was a really solid all-around brand, so it would honestly make me really sad to see them close down. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's just their stuff is on sale so often, and I actually went inside of Sephora the other day, and their gondola space is getting smaller and smaller and smaller so it's just not looking good but who am i i don't know so recently i've kind of let my fitness journey go by the wayside because i haven't had the energy to you know it takes a lot of mental and inner strength to kind of put yourself on that journey as intensely as i was but i definitely need to do that and so that's one of the reasons why i chose these earrings when ana luisa reached out to me because they are amongst the largest pieces that they carry I'm sure I'll let you know that in the intro when I film that but I'm going to have to be wearing my hair up a lot because like I said doing my hair takes so long and if I get up in the morning I exercise for you know an hour and a half or whatever it may be when I get down to like really doing my weights and running as well <sighs> It's, it's long. It's going to be long. And then once you shower, get yourself ready to spend another hour trying to get my hair in order. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. I'll tell you right now. I'm just not going to do it. And what I've been doing is putting my hair up in a bun, like a, like a top knot. But my hair is super fine. When I tell you my hair is really fine, I think I've shown you in the past it's really fine. Right now it's really long. And I also haven't done my Brazilian blowout treatment in a while either. So the roots are really curly and then the ends are straight because that part has been treated so many times it's just kind of lost the curl that's my natural hair type someone will have to once you see it I'll show it to you one day obviously not today once you see it you'll have to let me know what kind of hair type I have I know that there's classifications like 3a bc 4a bc for um hair 
and I don't know how to qualify my hair. All I know is really challenging to work with. It's really curly. When I work out, I sweat and so the roots get wet. And even with dry shampoo, there's just no saving it. I have to either wash it or put it in that knot that I've been doing. And honestly, I've been working with that knot in my hair. So why wouldn't I just film with it? I'm sure you guys don't care about my hair. You're here about the makeup. But it was just another thing that would make me feel bad. I've been teased about my hair my whole life life and you know how cruel kids can be and boy were they cruel to me so those things kind of stay with you and I taught my daughter never to tease other people never ask questions you know that may be too personal you can always listen if people offer but it's not our business to be prying into people's personal issues. You never know what's going to trigger someone, you know? I know I have a trigger specifically, and I'll talk to you about that in another video as well. I'm going to do lots of chit chat, <laughs> get ready with me video so we can talk. I have a trigger that people wouldn't even think is a trigger. Like they, I've been asked this thing so many times and it, it sends me down a spiral. I'll just tell you that. And I know that it's not malintentioned, at least not for most people, but it's still like, it'll still send me down a spiral and it's so hard. So I have the philosophy that you don't ask like those really personal things. You don't ask. It's not your business. If people share, then of course you can be empathetic and listen and try to help as much as you can but if they don't share it's not my business and I just say nothing so I kind of taught my daughter to be the same way you know these eyeshadows are super nice even though they're just neutrals they are really high quality neutrals they're very nice they blend so well so expensive I can't believe how much I paid for them they used to be like what $25 a piece or something I know I probably bought most of them on sale but, but they are really nice quality like if you like a one shadow look and kind of run out the door I would say this is perfect if you can find a shade that you like but I mean looking at the shades that I'm using like this one you can find this in any palette really and I did everything with a single brush too I always did like this brush it's a NYX number 16 brush it's just a domed soft blending brush it works really well so yeah since I'm gonna be wearing my hair in that top knot you're gonna be able to see my curly roots and everything but I think it helps to have a pretty earring like this something dangly and shiny to kind of add that femininity because if I just have my hair pulled back pretty much how it is right now and I don't have earrings I just kind of look like I don't know I just don't like the way it looks I, I, I don't know never like the way that looks so I wanted to have earrings like this to wear which will help me feel a little bit more put together even if I don't brush my hair that's a secret <laughs> I'm just going to use that medium shade underneath the eyes. I like the look of um, no shadow underneath the eyes, but because of the creasing of my concealer, it's not really that bad today, but it always does. I've been talking to you this whole time and, you know, like I crinkle my eyes and everything. So putting a little bit of color there always kind of helps disguise the creasing. I'm going to use one of these Touch and Soul pigments. This one is in the shade Golden Tangerine. I hope it doesn't have a lot of fallout. I'm just going to apply it with my finger. Just put a little bit on my ring finger and we're going to apply it here. Oh my goodness, it's a lot warmer than I thought. Definitely a lot warmer than I thought. But it's shimmery and super pretty, huh? I've seen these on sale quite a bit as well. I got a lot of them from the BoxyCharm pop-up. One of the perks of doing BoxyCharm, which speaking of which, I have not opened my beauty boxes for three months. They are piled in my kitchen and so I was thinking I can do a big beauty box unboxing and kind of update my other video where I talked about beauty subscription boxes and kind of the best and worst and hits and misses with regard to each box because I think that they're all different. I still do like them even though I'm not always 100% happy but I have all the boxes and depending on how long it takes me to shop for groceries and do my other errands that I have to do today since I will have makeup on and be feeling much better. I might film it tonight. I've actually been dying to see what I have in some of those boxes. It's crazy. Do I really need a beauty box if I'm gonna let it sit in the kitchen? I don't know. But yeah, if you enjoy subscription boxes, then definitely be on the lookout for that. I always think it's fun to unbox them together. And just to add the depth again, I'm just kind of gonna go on the outer corner 
with the darker shade, the darker matte shade again, since I was able to expand that shimmer kind of almost all the way across my eye. This actually reminds me a lot of one of the looks I like to do with my Tati Beauty palette, which I know that's a whole thing in and of itself, but I still like the palette a lot. It's one of my favorite palettes. The shadows actually worked really well. It was minimal fallout, really. I'm just going to tie everything in with the Dior highlighter. I'm going to put a little bit on the inner corner and some on my brow. Another thing I was talking about was my move. You guys know I had a pretty challenging moving experience. I just bought this place. Well, another issue um, that I have is that there's some kind of issue with the masonry to the building and it needs to be tuck pointed and sealed. There's a lot of people that are having water seeping into their units and fortunately I haven't had water per se although I do see a little bit kind of by the windows but my unit is definitely not as bad as some of the others. There's going to be a special assessment and if you're familiar with kind of condo living a special assessment is on top of your regular assessments where you have to split it up a according to ownership, percent ownership in the building. And this is a very small building. There's only 12 individual housing units and then there's two storefronts on the first floor. And so it's going to be a really expensive thing. So I'm going to have to pay a really large amount of money on top of my regular assessments really soon. Um, I think they're giving us six months to pay it. The first payment was it just came due. I'm just applying a little bit of this Kosas Lip Fuel. Um, this one is in, what is it called? Hyaluronic Lip Balm. This one is in Baseline because my lips are feeling really dry. But yeah, I'm going to be responsible for a lot of money of that. And it's an unexpected expense when you're already kind of struggling. It's just, it's been a lot. Just a lot of little things here and there that, you know, unexpected unexpected things but you get a deal and you got to keep going so i've made my budget and we're gonna do what we're gonna do but yeah knowing i was going to be out so much money it's a big job i think the whole job is going to be like maybe sixty thousand dollars and they split it up but my building is not even that old i think it was built about 15 years ago but the issue is that 15 years ago was kind of in the rush of real estate and builders were just kind of cranking them out as quickly as they could you know quality may or may not have been the best i don't know how it's gonna go when they start doing the work because i think it's gonna take about a month for them to actually do the work and so they're going to be drilling and doing all kinds of stuff hopefully it's not too loud because number one i'm still working from home so i'm lecturing from home and you know I need my students to be able to hear me <laughs> but in addition to that obviously I want to be able to film now that I've kind of gotten over that activation energy hump I want to film more often and I definitely want to continue my project but then if it's gonna be super noisy I don't know what time of day I might be able to film what can we really do well, I think that's pretty much it for the makeup look let's go ahead and apply the lip color it's one of the Pat McGrath ones it's a matte trance and it's in the shade more. I haven't worn it yet. It's kind of a corally pink shade. Mm, I don't know if I should remove the balm. I don't think so. Oh no. It's layering over it just fine. Wow. Hello spring, huh? I do have a tiny bit of fallout um, from the shimmery shade, especially when I use the brush. But overall, I think the makeup look turned out really well. It shouldn't have taken me this long to do it, but of course I was chatting and catching up. It's a really quick makeup look. I think the lips are definitely the focal point. And even though we're still all wearing masks and things like that, I'm just home and bright colors like this really cheer me up. I like the look. It's definitely a bit of a pick-me-up. I'm feeling a lot better. Ready to to go do grocery shopping right now. I just wanted to take a minute and kind of catch up so that my next video isn't so abrupt and you kind of know where I've been and what's been going on and you know I'm definitely curious to know how you've been doing. I have missed you all very very much. If you want to share how you've been doing then I would love to hear because you know sometimes it's nice to know that you're not alone <laughs> with uh, with different types of struggles. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out.
so that we can see the big picture. So here we go, I've got my hair down for now, but I did tuck it behind my ears since I wanted to show off the earrings a little bit more. I love them so much, I love the movement. They're not too heavy, so they're not dragging my ears down at all, but I just feel that it gives just a little added something and I wanted to add that necklace as well. As you see me with my little bun in my hair, like I said I was going to be wearing, you're gonna see me wear a lot of these jewelry pieces to help me kind of just feel a little bit more put together when I can't spend that much time on my hair. Thank you again to Ana Luisa Jewelry for working with me on this video and especially a big, big thank you. A special thank you to the lovely, lovely lady who gifted me the bronzer. I will treasure it forever. I've never received a gift like that. It was so thoughtful. You, obviously, you don't have to send me a thing, but it just means so much that you, you offered and it just, thank you. And thank you to the rest of you for joining me and for sticking with me through thick and thin. We're going through some rougher times right now, but better times are on the horizon and I look forward to sharing them with you. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining me for today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see a little bit more of me, which I am looking so much forward to doing this much more. Once I actually sat down, it feels so good to be here and doing what I love. And I can't wait to chat with you in the comments section so that we can catch up. Thank you again for joining me for today's video. I hope you're doing really, really well. And I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon on my next one. Bye-bye.